Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about the dankest memes from the r slash dank memes from site19 subreddit. Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. My hair looks ridiculous. I, I, I did the thing where you take a shower, uh, let it, it, and go to bed before it's completely dry, so it's a little, little frazzy and all over the place. Me, iconic SCP lines. We must declare human death a Keter SCP. Remember us. Fuck off, Carl. Hold on, is it in the first 30 seconds? Let's, let's, let's take a look. No, 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 okay, we're good, I think. Can't You can't have hard curse words in the first 30 seconds of a video. Are you, you sure not supposed to for advertising reasons? Uh, they were disgusting, shove. Did you know world-renowned author Stephen King was once hit by a car? Just something to consider. That one's my favorite. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I don't know with a hundred percent certainty if I've actually read the article that's from. I can't name the numbers of the other ones. Remember us? Well, I can. I can't even remember the number of fuck off, Carl. And I wrote that one. We'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, they were disgusting. We must declare human death a Keter SCP. That's a very loud truck. <laughs> That's not an SCP. That was just a very loud truck. Uh, but did you know the Stephen King line, which I've seen quoted many, many, many times. I know someone linked me the SCP it was from at one point when I asked, but I don't think I read it. Or if I... I, I, I oh, well. Uh, <laughs> one thing about this that actually uh, stuck out to me is that I still don't really think, and I, I'm... Uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Obviously, this person thinks elsewise. I don't really think I've written anything iconic, but then, you know, iconic SCP lines. Fuck off, Carl. It is, uh, that does, if I say that, almost everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. So that is nice. You know, if I'm saying fuck off, Carl, if, if, if the name Carl comes up in conversation, which is not super common, but, it, you know, it happens. Uh, in, in an SCP context, uh, you will about half the time have someone go, yeah, that fucking guy. Fuck Carl. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay. Maybe maybe I do have an iconic SCP. I don't know. I've got 119 articles. I, know, I only know the exact number because I checked very, very, very recently. But 119 articles, and I just don't feel like any of them are iconic. But maybe I did. Maybe I got one. I don't know. An anomaly that just wants to live. The GOC, religious GOIs. A GOI whose symbol I don't recognize, but, well, I do recognize it. I've definitely seen it before, but I can't put a name to it. An anomaly that just wants to live. The decommissioning department. Suplex! I mean, uh, yeah, the SCP Foundation, I've, you know... The SCP Foundation does spend a lot of time decommissioning things, but sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you just gotta. The world is better and safer if you do. <laughs> the entire nation of Kazakhstan and its people. The Davite materializing in the modern day. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, the, if we're talking about the SCP where the Davites turn out to be a completely harmless uh, and somewhat small nation... Uh, Kazakhstan's not actually that small. Um, uh, uh, hmm. I mean, okay, so here's my thing on that. First of all, I don't think the map uh, that they give in the thing is actually showing you the full extent of modern day uh, the Davite Republic? What was it called? Davidstan? Oh man, it's been a while. Regardless, the modern day Davites. Uh, I don't think it's showing you the, the full extent of the modern day as much as it's full, showing you the full extent of previous. But even if so, um, somebody in the comments on this meme, and I wish I knew who it was exactly, um, did say something along the lines of, you know, um, <laughs> what if it's just Kazakhstan renamed? What if Kazakhstan is the Davide Empire, but renamed and recontextualized and stuff? But I don't... <clears throat> No, I, I said it out loud. I'm thinking about how the history of the Davites is completely different and would lead to, you know, butterfly effect stuff. The whole world would be completely different, like completely different. So the, I mean, it's not just the Kazakhstan would be 
uh, seriously affected. It doesn't matter that the Davites are immaterial uh, in the future, that they fall out of importance and just disappear. If you alter history, everything changes in a serious way. Not just for the people whose history you've changed, but for everyone, everywhere. You get rid of uh, well, Kazakhstan and its people all, all the way back into history, and you replace them with the Davites. The Mongol invasions change. What are their decisions? You know, their de the decisions of the Mongols and their inv invasions change. That's uh, a very easy butterfly effect to map out because Davites lived in Central Asia, where the the uh, Mongol Empire invaded in its initial invasion. So now you have that changed. How well do they decide to invade Europe at all? Do they actually invade Europe and succeed? You know, what's the what's the changes to the timeline? That's just a tiny and that's just one sliver of possible changes. It's yeah. I mean, you just kind of have to suspend your your disbelief. So, uh, unfortunately, while this is interesting, I don't know that it's necessarily applicable. Justice Marion while microwaving a slice of cheese in the Site 19 break room for two minutes after the O5 banned him from microwaving his tuna fish sandwiches there. I always like tales with uh, Dr. Sumerian being just an unnecessary dick. Unlike uh, Dr. Bright, who is definitely being a dick, he's being a dick intentionally. Um, but a lot of times it's just him having fun. Uh, Dr. Sumerian's uh, dickishness never really seems to be for fun. He just seems to be spiteful. And I love that. It's just a fu Well, I mean, it's uh, not a personal, uh, not in a personal way, but as a character, I love the fact that like deep down he, he wants to do the right thing. He, you know, whatever, but he is so fucking petty. And you know why I like that? Because I'm pretty petty too. I think that's why. SCP-426 is a toaster that can only be referred to in the first person. Impossible. Yeah, not all media is going to follow the SCP Foundation's rules for certain SCPs. You're just going to learn to live with that. Me, any use of the word nobody. I, um, I very recently in, um, in chat was thinking about this hilariously. Um, the main reason I included it was for this exact reason. Um, I was really, I was wondering why no one had ever adapted in nobody to be part of that um homeric story where um odysseus oh god what's the name of the cyclops i don't remember the name of the cyclops there's a cyclops that he has to basically encounter and deal with in like the very first adventure uh, after uh gosh this is getting into the weeds odysseus is one of the heroes who has to after the trojan war after they win the trojan war they have to go home uh, but they pissed off Poseidon, so there's a huge problem with it. Um, and this is actually more of pissing off Poseidon, uh, because the Cyclops that he ends up doing doing dirty is one of Poseidon's uh, kids. And what happens is, is he goes in, and this guy, this guy, this Cyclops has been eating people, and he's uh, eaten. I think he actually successfully eats a couple of uh, Odysseus's crew members from his ship. And Odysseus, uh, long story short, blinds him. And when asked uh, who blinded you, he has to say nobody or is it no one? It's one of those two. It, it doesn't matter because you can adapt. You can change it slightly and get this story to work. Uh, because uh, Odysseus had introduced himself as nobody uh, the entire time. Never gave the guy his actual name because even the ancient Greeks knew names have power. Uh, and anyway, the, after after we get through this long circuitous route to the end of this, I had just been wondering why nobody had ever mixed those two together. It would be hilarious if nobody shows up in an ancient Greek epic. Just saying. Oh, was it the last SCP? So it's okay that I took forever to explain the story of Odysseus and uh, whatever the name of that Cyclops is. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed... <clears throat> Okay. All right. We're okay. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge it at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Cashmill, who's pledged at $50, and Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It's 
nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.